What's going on everybody? I placed an order with CultivatedReef.com. They are a company based out of Maine. Uh, I did the Saturday delivery, which was an extra $15. I think the uh, standard flat rate shipping is $30 something dollars, um, if I'm not mistaken. About a total of 12 to 13 frags. And the stuff that I I'm interested in is Pali, Zoas. Uh, I bought some SPS, a couple of those. I bought some uh, Recordia mushrooms. And uh, like I said, most of it was uh, Zoas and Pallies, but it's a good mixture of things. Everything on their website as far as Zoas and uh, Pallies are, is uh, per polyp. Uh, you know, that's pretty much the standard on other websites, unless it's what you see or what you get. Um, these items weren't what you see, what you get. But um, everything came out pretty good. Uh, I want to tell you, I try to keep it as cheap as I can by only ordering one polyp. And then, you know, from that frag, they grow into a larger colony. So that way I can trade, you know, turn it into a local fish store for um, store credit or trade with other reefers, do the frag auctions, whatever. Um, but I'll tell you, um, I'm pretty happy with what I got. I, like I said, I only pay for one polyp. And if you look in the back, the Miami Vices, I got like four heads on those, the clothes, the, like six of those. Um, Vivid Rainbows, Sunny D's, some Orange Zoes, um, the SPS, everything came out uh, pretty nice. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the SPS. I had been wanting some of this green uh, Slimer. Um, I've seen, a, seen it in a lot of other tanks, look real good. Uh, the Recordias, I want to kind of make a Recordia garden right there. So that's purple and green and crusting some type of SPS. I forgot the name of it. And uh, take another look at a different recordia that I got. I'm going to go ahead and show you a top-down view of some of the corals that I already have. And then some of the new frags that I just got. Alright guys, this is the uh, top-down view. I just wanted to show you some of the zoanthids, pallies that I got. Really love those pink ones. Check out this hammer, man. Uh, it's, it's huge. Um, really like the the purple that's coming out on it, the purple, deep purples, the greens. Um, I've been f feeding it uh, mysis shrimp lately, and uh, I make sure to do that. Um, I have a little, a little bit of uh, algae issue. Um, I was battling dino. Um, I got some help from uh, Reefer Gill on how he did it, how he kind of beat it, and uh, so that's why I kind of have some brown spots right there. But as far as the uh, corals go, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, my sun coral is doing real good. Um, that got a different piece of uh, GSP right there. I got my metallic green GSP. Uh, my bubble corals, pretty new. I got that. Um, so you know, like I said, everything's looking pretty good, pretty healthy. Um, with the bubble coral, you do kind of have to watch out because it has a uh, tentacles, and you know, it has a pretty vicious sting to the other corals. But uh, these soles right here, the ones on top used to be brown. But ever since I've adjusted my lights down and uh, started using Kalkwasser, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, Coraline's doing good. Rocks are turning purpler. Um, Flower pot, daisies, GSP. All my coral, my tank has benefited from it. So, like I said, I really would recommend using uh, Kalkwasser or doing your maintenance and water changes and everything because uh, just with time your corals will look better alright guys I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up thanks for watching guys uh, I'll give you an update later on on the tank always up to something with this tank it's a, it's a lot of fun and um, like I said guys if you like what you see give me that thumbs up like it subscribe comment I will write you back and uh, thanks for watching guys take care